If you want to make a 2D game in Unity, chances are that you will want to use tile maps. In this video, I want to show you how we can add colliders to our tiles. Hi, I'm Peter and welcome to Sunny Valley Studio Tutorials. First, we are going to start with a simple example where we have simple top-down tiles, so only walls and the floor. If you want to use the same assets for this example, the links will be in the description of this video. Now, if you are not familiar with tile maps, you need to go to Window, Package Manager, and in the new window, you should be able to check out Unity Registry, and here you should be able to get the 2D Tile Map Editor and 2D Tile Map Extras packages. When you install those, you will be able to open window in the top menu, 2D Tile Palette, which will open you additional window that will allow you to create uh, the map using those sprites that you import to this tile palette. To start using it, you need to create a new tile palette, name it, create it, and I will go to Sprites, Tile Maps, Palettes, and I will select this folder, and here is our new tile palette. Next thing that you need to have is sprites, so I have this Jawbreaker uh, sprite sheet. I'm going to uh, select it. Now we can edit this sprite. If this window doesn't open, you need to go to Window Package Manager, the 2D sprite package. And this will allow you to edit this sprite. And this is a sprite sheet which contains multiple sprites. Now this is what I have used. And all you need to do is use slice options and slice it uh, using some settings here. And if you have this prepared, you can go on and select the sprites in your project, drag them into your tile palette and select where you want to save those. And I will save them here. And if you do this, you will be able to paint using those tiles, those sprites extracted from the sprite sheet onto your map. Now, the most important thing when it comes to the colliders is that you need to think about what will have the colliders. Now, in my project, I have three tile maps. To create a tile map, you need to go to right click in the hierarchy, select 2D object and select tile map rectangular because we are using like rectangular tile map. Now, I have created a grass tile map, which is simply the background of the map. Next, I have placed the floors, which will represent what are the rooms where they are placed. And at the end, I have placed walls, which will be the obstacles in my uh, on my map. Now, the, what I want to do is add a collider. So when I press play right now in my game, uh, the tiles are not creating any collision. So my player can walk freely around the map and nothing blocks uh, his movement. Now to add the collisions to our tile map so that they can stop the player movement, we need to add tile map collider 2D. So here I will select the walls tile map, which represents my obstacles. I will add a component and I will type tile map and I will see the tile map collider here. And this represents our collider. First thing we need to enable the gizmos and those should now show us the collider, but this is barely visible. So what I will do is select the uh, shading mode and I will select the wireframe. Now this is the newer version of Unity. This is 2021.2.2. In the older version, this setting is in the top left corner here. I think we can change the uh, shading mode. And as you can see, now our walls are represented by the green squares. So those are the colliders. So if I press play now, we will see that our character, which also contains a rigid body and a collider on it, will now collide with our walls. But there is a slight problem. So if we select our walls, as you can see, we have a lot of separate colliders. There are, those are separate uh, green boxes representing the colliders. Now to make our a game a bit more efficient, we would like to have big colliders rather than all of those small colliders. So to add a bit more efficiency to our game, besides the tile map collider, we want to add another component. So let's select walls. I will add a component and I will type uh, composite. And we should see composite collider 2D. If we add this, we will see that we have an extra component rigid body 2D 
as well as our composite collider. Now to use this composite collider, we need to select our TileMap Collider and check the checkbox used by composite. If I check it, you will see that in our scene view, those small rectangles are now big shapes that represents a single collider instead of those multiple ones. So this should make our game more efficient. Now beside this setting, we need to expand the rigid body 2D and as you can see, the body type is set to be the dynamic. So this will mean that this will be affected by the gravity. If we set it to be static, now it will work as expected. So we can press play. And again, we should see in our game view that now our player can do exactly the same as uh, he did before. So we can collide with our walls. But if we stop the game, and if I go back to inspector to the rigid body and leave the body type to be dynamic and if we go back to our game if I unpause it you will see that the collider now falls down because our rigid body is affected by the gravity so this is why we have set the rigid body to be static. Now this was an easy example where we had no special colliders so uh, each collider was represented by one square of our grid or of our tile map. Let's now go to a bit more advanced example. So here we have again the same type of tile maps so if i disable them we can see that we have the background which are the grass and flowers and so on we have some walls a sort of a tower that is a bit higher as well as the stairs leading up now we could of course make the stairs part of our walls so how can we apply colliders to this sort of an example now if i go to my pixel art textures and open the sprite editor those are our tiles representing the stairs so the uh, handle as well as the steps are single sprite in addition to this our walls are a bit different because now they are not a full tile but we have only the edge of our wall and we can put something in the center of this so as you might imagine the colliders generated might be a bit different so let's see how we uh, how our uh, colliders will look like. So let's select our walls and let's use this approach from the previous uh, scene. So I'm going to add to our walls uh, tile map a tile map collider. And if I turn this uh, shading mode to wireframe, as you can see, those corners doesn't look that good. So we are not going to be able to walk here. If I press play now, of course, we are not going to be colliding with the stairs. But, as you can see, if I go up, we are going to be blocked by this edge, this corner. So that's maybe not something you want to have. I have this brick or a small rock here. So if I go to my tiles, I will see that here is the tile representing this brick. And inside this tile asset that we have saved, we have this collider type. We can select it and we can set that this is none. So now our brick or small rock will not generate a collider. If I swap it to grid, if I select the walls, the tile map, you will see that now the collider takes the whole tile. So it doesn't uh, care about the size of the sprite itself. And if I select the default settings of the sprite, it will adjust the collider to the size of our object. But what if you want to modify it? Well, we have a pretty nice tool to do this i will open the sprite sheet that represents this wall and i will edit this sprite sheet so here is our wall and in the sprite editor what we can do is select in the top left corner this sprite editor and we can select the custom physics shape now we can select one of the tiles or one of the sprites that we have split this sprite sheet into and at the top we have this generate button if we select it as you can see we have this white outline uh, this is the generated collider this is exactly what happens in our game but what we can do is we can see this uh, blue uh, rectangle when we slide over the edge we can click it and we will create a new edge and if we select it and drag it somewhere here if we select the second one generate the same collider and if we create again this uh, square and we are going to uh, adjust it and now if we apply those changes and exit the sprite editor if we select our walls 
we may need to refresh the collider so turn on and off the turn off and on the tile map collider as you can see now the collider is much better adjusted to what we had uh, in mind when we were creating this so if i now press play you will see that we are not going to be able to uh, be blocked by this edge now the collider should work as expected and we can go up till the end into this corner the same solution can be applied to our stairs because again if we select our stairs if we add a tile map collider to them as you can see we are going to block the staircase so to adjust it we can go to our sprite sheet containing our stairs uh, edit the sprite and again we have this sprite sheet divided into separate sprites so we can select the sprite editor and instead select the custom physics shape select this tile generate this and we are going to drag it we are going to include this shadow as part of our collider but what we can do now is use the copy button at the top we can select the next tile and paste it and paste it until we are going to have this correct so let's copy this paste it again okay let's go to the next side we're going to generate our collider we're going to adjust it let's copy this let's paste it below let's paste it below and of course you need to select all of those tiles but now if we apply this we are going to go back to unity and again we need to select our stairs and toggle this on and off and now we are going to see uh, that the collider is much better adjusted to the steps or to the stairs that we have in our game so now if we press play we are going to see that the collisions works as expected and we can collide from both sides with our stairs but we can walk onto them and exact everything is exactly as we intended so every collision appears as expected now our player has this small collider at his legs so this is why we can appear on top of this wall of course we are rendering it uh, using the sorting layers but we have some small issues still with the rendering when our player is rendered on top of this but this should be a, a higher than our player so we are going to talk about this in the next video great i hope this video gave you some insight on how to work with time up colliders now if you want to learn more about making 2d games in unity check out my video courses the link will be in the description and see you in the next video take care